welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel Gauri's Three C's. In case you're wondering what the three C's in my channel name represent, they stand for my three interests outside of work. Cooking, cleaning and organizing, and of course crafting. Please join me in my journey of cooking attempts, cleaning and organizing endeavors, and crafting stress busters. If that's the kind of content that's right up your alley, please consider subscribing to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload a new video. Welcome aboard! Vegetable Curry Paniyaram is a quick and easy snack or breakfast popular in the southern part of India. They are more like pan-fried dumplings made with mixed vegetables and leftover idli or dosa batter. It sure can be made with fresh batter but at least in our household, this one gets its chance after one round of fresh soft idlis, a second round of dosa or uttappam, and then this hidden gem gets pulled up to finish off any leftover batter and the cycle starts all over again. All good. Let's get on with making soft and spongy kuri paniyaram. Very quick to put together if you have batter on hand, this one needs finely chopped veggies. I have a combination of cabbage and carrots here that I have chopped up in my KitchenAid 7 cup food processor. I'll leave a link in the description box below. If you don't have a chopper or a food processor, you can totally chop this by hand or grate the vegetables as well. I also have a leftover mixture from my Uttapam sandwich in case you haven't watched that video I'll leave a link to that one please go ahead and check it out fresh onions and finely chopped cilantro to spruce up this mixture and you are good to go heat up a small pan or a vessel on medium heat add in one tablespoon of oil and when it heats up add in some mustard seeds and allow it to crackle then put in your finely chopped onions and saute it until they turn soft. After the onions are pink and translucent, you can then add in your finely chopped veggies and allow it to cook in the steam for some time. Since I have cabbage and cabbage leaves water while cooking, I haven't added any additional water. Then add in a quarter teaspoon of numeric, turmeric powder um, a half a teaspoon of red chili powder and half a teaspoon of cumin coriander powder, some salt to taste and give this all a good mix. I have this leftover vegetable mixture from my Uttapam sandwich and I'll add that in. Um, after this looks well, well cooked, top it off so with some finely chopped cilantro leaves. I have this ape pan from India and I'll put a link to a comparable product in the description box below. Um, let's uh, get this in with the heat on medium low and add a teaspoon of oil in each of the slots. While that's heating up, I'll add in my leftover batter to the vegetable mixture and fold it in. Make sure that anytime you add salt while cooking the onions or other veggies, remind yourself that the batter possibly has salt in it as well. So add accordingly. One last thing to add right before you start making the paniyarams is a pinch of uh, eno fruit salt, which is readily available in Indian stores. This is the trick to get soft and spongy paniyarams. But in case you don't have it in hand, substitute with a pinch of baking soda and you should get roughly the same results. Take a small ladleful of batter and fill about three fourths of each slot. Let it cook on one side for three minutes and then slowly flip it over with a spoon. In case it appears difficult with one spoon, Try this with two spoons and it should be easier to flip it over. Let the other cooks, uh, side cook for about two minutes as well and your spongy paniyarams are ready. Repeat this for the remaining batter and um, just take the time to cook each side till it's golden brown and it turns crispy. You can serve it as it is or with any chutney or even plain tomato ketchup. And this is filling enough for a quick snack or a breakfast. I always turn to this on a morning when I have 
um, less time to prepare breakfast or when I have a new batch of uh, idli dosa batter to ready to grind and I need to use up the old one quickly. There are a couple of versions I make as well, one with rava or suji and another with um, tomato puree. So Panaram breakfast shows up every once in three weeks or so in our household. It is so interesting how little kids react to certain things. One such incident when I made this and my son's first reaction was, Mom, I think you may have made a million Panyarams in your life. So here's to you making a million Panyarams in your life. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.